Hey guys, so you might have recently seen this game going around your feed. It's called X Defiant and it's, and it's made by classic Call of Duty devs, as in classic, you know, I kind of mean the Black Ops era, you know. To me, classic kind of means pre-advanced warfare, I feel like. And I say pre-advanced warfare because I think Call of Duty Ghost is a good Call of Duty. Everyone keeps hating on it, but I didn't hate on it even when it was out and everyone's like thinking back now, oh, what a good Call of Duty, nah, nah, nah. Ghost was a good Call of Duty even when it was the main card out. But anyway, we're talking about X Defiant here and like I said, it's made by old Call of Duty devs it's been beautiful, dude. It's been way better than Call of Duty itself, you know? And you can feel like the the classic movement, you know, like the classic gameplay from the older Call of Duties that we know and love are in this game. Not like the sluggish piece of shit that is MW2 right now. I'm level 20 right now and this is the last day of the beta. It would be cool if it was out for longer, but I did see a tweet where Mark Rubin or Cuban one of those is like one of the, the I guess like either a community manager or like one of the devs but he said like his team was working tirelessly even through the weekends and stuff which I commend and stuff you know to keep the game out to keep the game alive and stuff you know updating it as, as we play so I think the devs deserve a break and you know I this game is good man what I thought was funny is during the last weekend Call of Duty even made a a double XP with shipment that would like literally pulling out their last ace in their sleeve, you know, just to bring some players back because this game has been taken over the feeds and stuff. You guys probably heard of this game, but yeah. So, as you can see, we, we got some factions here, you know, basically with some abilities you can choose. I usually run Intel Suit or the Bio Vita Boost. Other ones are kind of cool. I didn't really try. Uh, I did try Hijack a little bit, but yeah, so Intel, Intel Suit is what, what the one I go with usually. And we got we got the weapons, dude. The classic names, dude. AK-47, look, M4A1. Tac-50 is a little different, but yeah, we got like the MP5, A2. You know, like I don't know if there's like copyright infringement on guns that you know, like games have to pay or something <laughs> to, to have their gun name in the game. I don't know because like a lot of newer games are you know are starting to get like di different uh, different names for the guns for like that looks similar. Look, there's no penalty for for jump shotting. Oh. But one thing I noticed is, look, you can't crouch. I'm pressing the control, you know, which is usually the, the crouch button in Call of Duty. But yeah, and the biggest thing, and I feel like there's no skill-based matchmaking, dude. I don't know if it's like connection-based or server-based, I don't know, but dude. You, you can have a, a game where you do so well and then another game where you get shit on, basically, by another more, more experienced player. But this is just so good, man. I've been, I've been really enjoying it. I did go <laughs> during the uh, during the double XP to Call of Duty because I'm trying to complete battle pass over there. Oh, oh, nice. Oh no no please don't look, please don't look. Ah, did I made him walk out, but he still killed me. Yeah, so uh, the movement's been really nice. The maps are actually awesome. Dude. The classic three laner, but the maps are maps are actually good. You know, the, this is my least favorite <laughs> one actually we're playing on right now. It's got a long range, I do like, you know, more close quarters and fast paced or f faster paced gameplay and this one kind of creates, you know, longer, uh, longer lines of sight. Yeah, so these are like my main thoughts I've been having through playing this game. I I wish I kind of made a video sooner on this, but at the same time I've been I've been editing a lot of the clips on my hard drive, just trying to clear it out, make some, make you know, not waste the clip that I have, which I think are pretty good, right? So also I tried this game both on controller and keyboard and mouse. Um. I don't really have a preference, you know, like I, I adjust pretty well. The aim assist is, is not that strong, so, you know, it's, it's playable on both. I know. Ooh. People praise the snipers. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty bad at the snipers. I did manage to get you know, the, the 25 one shot, one hits, so I'm not attack 50. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, look at that! A headshot! Oh yeah, jump down, buddy. Oh. HP, HP, HP. oh, also the ult of this character is so good. Here, I'll show you guys. I gotta get closer, though. I gotta get in the... in the. Ooh. 
Nice. Okay, look, look. I'll show you. I'll show you. Boom. I have x-ray hacks. Plus a very powerful pistol. Hold on. I'll see you. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. I got that. This ability, I think, is the most fun, to be honest. You know? Oh, we're capping this. Yo, give me the points. I'm trying to complete the battle pass before the, before the game ends because you do get a pretty cool wow, weapon or a skin. At the end, I'll show you guys. Let's go for me. Look at Oh, did you see that? Oh, I didn't shoot. Oh, I shot him though. Oh, oh man, that triple would have been so sick. I, I, I kind of take it back, dude. I'm pretty nasty with the sniper. I mean, if the moment allows it, you know? Okay, not take it back. Okay. okay. <laughs> From what I read on Twitter, the kill cams will be implemented into the game right now. They're not here, which kind of sucks because some kills are kind of weird. Also, the net code is going to get changed. You know, I, I hear that's a pretty important part to, uh, you know, in the game. The, honestly, that's the first time I hear of that, but, you know, apparently the netcode is pretty important. And a lot of the movement that is tied to the netcode or something like that, it's going to be changed as well. So, also the healer, right now it's kind of OP, you know, you can heal very quickly and like something in the you know in the combat you can get a really quick boost of health but apparently it's also going to be nerfed so like the, dude the, the, the devs are active on the oh by the way this is the gun the tech x this looks kind of cool you know reminds me of like a valerie smg i don't remember which was specter or some shit something like that oh no it's like a it's like a minimal camo that they had to buy but anyway yeah, yeah. so yeah the devs are coming back to that topic the devs are really active especially on twitter and you can see it in the game, dude. The only downside is this game is on Ubisoft Connect, which is not the best launcher. And I did kind of put it like, I think my top three and my launchers tier list when I did a few years ago. I really should redo that because I don't know what I was thinking. I was just glazing. I was, honestly, I was just basing the the, the launchers based on their games, you know? <laughs> this is the whole battle pass right now. We got some skins, we got more skins. We got, what's that? Emoji pack? There's emoji packs. I didn't know that. There's a skin. And yeah, this is this is the one I actually want. This this looks really cool anyway, so. I gotta get as much game time. I don't know when the beta ends, but you know, I just I, I thought I was gonna do the, this video tomorrow, but apparently this is the last day, like a full day, so I don't know when they're gonna take off the servers tomorrow. So I might as well get the video out here because I really want to tell you guys about this game. You know, I just want to share my my opinions and my impressions of the game. Also, the way you had to get this game is kind of weird. You had to watch like 30 minutes of Twitch streams of you know like partnered streamers that were uh included in, in, in like the whole program you get a drop which is kind of like valorant but valorant was like a, a chance drop that you could have gotten but this was you know like an easy 30 minutes you could just like afk that's why i just like leave the volume at one percent and just play my own game and i just got the code <laughs> let's try it let's try an smg here i did try the sniper last match Domination. some m4a1 let's try the mp5 i really like the mp5 for hostile, call of duty i've been really unhappy friendly, with the artificial like, progress delay i don't know what to call it you know but like it's obvious that like they they hinder your progress from just uh, playing secure. fast so for the new season event where you have to pick up these tokens per match it's really sick per match and each reward is like 30 tokens so you have to play five whole matches to get the i don't know that's stupid it's, it's really stupid i'm really really unhappy with that and this game is literally a breath of fresh air. I don't know what I'm gonna do when the beta is gonna end for this. Oh, on Friday the the Star Wars game comes out. Star Wars, Star Wars Jedi Jedi Survivor. Also, one thing that's been super janky is like the the, the mounting or like the, the climbing. You know, <laughs> some of the corners you just can't climb over. But uh, obviously it's gonna get fixed because like I think everyone's been talking about that. But let's cap it. Also, I really like the the capping system, the point system, the XP system. Like, that's really well done. It's really intuitive. You get like XP for damage. For, for you get like extra XP for staying on the point, which is super good for objective players. Also, this map is really good. The plain map that we played last time, and in, in, you know the last map was literally my least favorite. And that's not even the you know like a bad map. It's just like the one I prefer the least. The maps are really good in here. I'm a challenge. Do I challenge? Do I continue challenging? Oh my god. The movement is amazing, by the way. You, you can uh, slide cancel so easily in this game. It, also, it's like uh, like Counter-Strike. When you have like, it, I mean, like a pistol out, you can run way faster. And sliding, you can like air strafe. I don't know if that's going to get patched within 
the netcode fix, but you could like, I don't know. I, I don't think I, I can ever do it, <laughs> but I've seen people do that. I've seen, I, I got killed by air scraping. Oh man, oh no, I hate, I hate his ability, dude. The flamethrower, dude, it's pretty annoying to be honest. Ooh. One guy in the shop. Oh, so close, he's 10 HP. He's literally one shot. Oh, right there, right there. You see, Friendly there's like a delay. On the I know, that's really weird. But it's, it's gonna get fixed. Oh, no! Dude, one of his abilities, the flamethrower guy, is like a self incendiary like explosion. And it's really, it's pretty bad. Like it's annoying, but it's pretty effective. Oh my god. Yo, let's switch weapons here. There's the ACR. This game is an ACR before MW2, which is wild. But you have to unlock it with like I think long shots with assault rifles. And no way I'm getting that at this point. Yo, let's, try, let's try a shotgun. I actually haven't tried the shotgun yet. Uh, there's just the AA-12 in this game. I don't know if it's a, if it's an NW2 because like they changed the whole the whole like, set of names for the guns. So Can't really blame it on uh, skill-based matchmaker anymore, you know? Because when I die, I actually suck. Or there's like a better person than I am at the. You guys get the point. Bro, we captured a hello. That's a glitch. Did I get the point? We capturing on the forty. Ooh, okay, wait, wait, wait. The shotgun is actually pretty good with that range, and I got the kill. I would have gotten two hit markers in, in, in MW2. Look at the XP, dude. About to lose B. We hold all oh, perfect. Zone. They're capping good B. Work, A perfect time to use my shotgun. Oh, we won them. <laughs> oh, you guys are fucking dog shit. <laughs> Mission success. It's almost like you've done this before. Oh, halfway. Actually, more than halfway now. To completing the nine okay so there's their war shack with challenges you can do different challenges to get the extra guns you know for example unlock the mp7 gonna get point blanks p90 hip fires did i unlock it oh there it is long long shots look at what we have we have the freedom of choice to vote and i'm gonna vote for attica heights you know why because i can't dude <laughs> this game also lets you cancel reload like a proper game you know look Boom, I start to reload. Ooh, I zoom in, I can continue shooting. This is so intuitive and so smooth. I love it. This game does so many things right. That was hardly there were the already agent. right in the older Call of Duty's, but they got removed for some reason. But yeah. Oh, nice collab between uh, Watch Dogs. I like that. Oh, never a barrel. For pistols, we got the M993R, which is like these. Semi? Three? Yeah, three three one burst. They had Deagle and then the Magnum. Let's take a Deagle out. Oh we got this the shotgun too. Okay, hold up. Oh I wanna try. Dude, but the double barrel actually did good damage for the one kill I got with it. Let's try I you know I never tried the cleaners. Screw it, let's do it. Bags on zone C. Burn them out. A crew's moving on zone A. Light them up. We got it. Oh, Okay, I was too distracted. <laughs> oh. Okay, the fire rate's not that bad. There's the team I was looking for. I've been getting a steady 100, like 30, mostly. Even when I'm recording with OBS right now, my shadow plays kind of being weird and uh, doesn't want to record. But you know, still getting 130 FPS. See, so, yeah, obviously this game has some, you know, some some things I still need to iron out. But this is like closed the beta. I think this is like the first ever playthrough that they've given us. So. For a first playthrough, dude, I, it's really impressive. You know? Oh, 
right. Definitely a skill issue for me, but <laughs> you know. It's it's way more enjoyable than Call of Duty at the moment. That's been my impressions, you know. If I if I see have anything else, you know, I might throw them in the comments or something. But yeah, this was mainly my, my first impression of the game. I wanted to show you guys if you guys don't know the game. X Defiant, man, I'm super hyped for it. Hopefully it's gonna be getting the, the support from the players and the devs that it deserves. I went negative again, but boys. I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.